Well, the Oakland Unified School District has now become the first large district here in Northern California to require students to get vaccinated against COVID-19. That vote by the school board came after a very lengthy and emotional debate that stretched well past midnight. KTV's Rob Ross spoke with students and Oakland school officials today, and he joins us now live. Rob. Heather, the school district still has to iron out all the details of how it will work, but they say a vaccine mandate for students could take effect in January. At Oakland Tech High School, the plan to make COVID vaccines mandatory for students to be allowed in class is drawing mixed reviews among the students. It's protecting all of us, and I think it's just safer for us. So it won't spread. We should still be able to choose whether we want to get vaccinated or not. It's still kind of forcing, you know, people to get vaccinated. The Oakland Unified School District Board of Education voted early Thursday morning to require all students ages 12 and up to be fully vaccinated if they want to come on campus. The board is allowing exemptions for personal beliefs, although the district still needs to define exactly what those beliefs will entail. The superintendent is expected to present details of the plan sometime in October with the plan taking effect in January at the earliest. At the moment, uh, there are no parameters set uh, as to what it's going to look like, how it's going to be in effect, how it's going to be enforced, anything like that. Uh, those are things that, that the staff here at OUSD will have to work out. Well, vaccination is really the way that we get to herd immunity. and. Um, we just thought it was urgent to, to take this step. School Board Vice President Sam Davis, who introduced the resolution, says the district will need to launch an education campaign about the vaccine. But while Alameda County has a fully vaccinated rate of 77 percent, African Americans and Latinos have only about a 60 percent vaccination rate. Such numbers could mean a racial divide between students who would come to class and those who would be learning remotely. We don't want this to be per, uh, punitive. We really want to use this as a way to encourage families to get the education they need, to, to seek out doctor, uh, doctor's advice, to get what they need in order to get vaccinated. I still don't plan on getting vaccinated. I think that I might have to do distance learning. Do you want to do distance learning? No, I like staying here at school. The district is planning to hold two community meetings about all this, one in Spanish on Monday, the other in English on Tuesday. The meetings will be virtual. Heather?